we are in Nice, in La Station, or maybe it's uh, the 109, what's the difference between 109 uh, and The 109 is like more or less the wall, like all slaughterhouse yeah. building, but La Station is in the 109. Yeah. Le 109, because it's like, it's a word game, 109 is like, means also new blood. So it's like this word game about, because it's not the number 109 on the street, it's just like the <laughs> word game with like blood with it, because it was slaughterhouse. Yeah, actually it's 80, 87, the real address. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's funny because it's February <laughs> and that's uh, like uh, 100 Celsius already. <laughs> or it feels like actually for me. <laughs> but anyway, you made a group exhibition yeah. with seven, uh, exhibitors and I have to keep my paper because the wind is coming <laughs> anyway so how did you how did you select this these seven exhibitors I would say it's um, because it was kind of a first time for us we chose to ask friends first and so it mostly like people who were near or who would be really Okay, responsive, responsive <laughs> to or request to making their art in a smaller size. Mm. So, yeah, I think it's like when you are not sure about something, mm. you just go first to the friends. They were very okay with the, the experimental part of the project. And we were used to working together, so it was yeah. easier. I have been there before, so I know that La Station is mainly about friends. But uh, your title was a grand opening. Yeah. And uh, it was funny because uh, the exhibited works are very small, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so was it intentional to, to have this joke? Yes, yeah, it's, it's really like partly like making a joke about the fact that we're making a big opening for the first time made in a small size. Because it was also like the 21st anniversary of La Station at the same day. We had like really like red carpet in the hallway and there were road um, curtains also so that's really like making like a wall fuss but about a small small uh, exhibition because it was in the biggest room of La Station but all alone in mm. a corner with one spotlight but having like this grand opening for something that is super small in a big space was for us really like we, we, we had like we must this joke. So next time when you have the, the small pieces, then yeah. it will be a huge stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we will do like the uh, bigger, bigger and bigger. bigger. You mentioned somewhere that uh, the exhibition is uh, 4136 okay. art space. Uh, I don't know if it's correct, but anyway, yeah, yeah. Is, is it really exist? Uh, so the 4136 36 is like about um, centim square meters. Ah. So it's like it's like the size of the first piece of the um, space. It's like really like on the ground floor. It's like for a uh, 4,136 centi square meters. So it's really like a really weird definition of square meters because it's like not square meters but centi square meters so it's really like hearing as it's it's big but it's really small Colin your work is uh, La Dizos the Bon Aventure mm -hmm. uh, it's like you mentioning that after Caravaggio mm -hmm. it's um, the La Dizos you know it's a woman who tells the future yeah. and um, and uh, why did you put in, in Caravaggio's time that? Because uh, we are still interesting in, in the future. It's a small detail of the painting and there was a double bind uh, because she's reading the future but she's also uh, stealing the ring of the, the boy and uh, it was a focus <laughs> on the, the double bind painting. I really like to take like artworks or books from the past and to reenact them in the present. And uh, I think the, the hands are uh, body parts that are atemporal too. I got your work in the Wink Wink with uh, yeah, it's a kind of a photo and also some mirror yeah. uh, like that. And uh, you have also the Draw Me Your Nipple project. Yeah. 
with this uh, draw me your nipple there's a long uh, long story in, in some web page uh, so you, you can maybe tell something about that yes so like like here in this uh, in the ex small exhibition as a um, wink wink is like a wink to the fact that there is in the photograph one of the small draw me your nipple um, embroidery but it's also a wink because um, it's also like a smaller size of of one art piece I already did in the past, which was really in big size and was uh, in the size of uh, wall space. And so it's a clin d'oeil, like you say in French, but in, I, I, I like the English word wink, which is like way shorter and way like more condensed. And since everything is like so condensed in this small art space, I really liked the, the title. And so the Draw Me Your Nipple project is like, um, it's a project about uh, wondering about why like women nipples have so much differentiation with like uh, men w nipples also. Because like I was wondering why, for example, on the social media, like women nipples have to be blurred or like you have to put pads or whatever. It's like, I think it's really weird to see a photograph where you have like a man and a woman torso. And at the end, like the man's nipples is like seeable and the woman's nipples is like, I don't know, like with a dark square or whatever. Even if like the whole boob is, see is seeable, but you have to, sh to cover the nipple. It's like, why? You see already the whole boob. Why would you need to cover the nipple? So. This project was to make like um, a kit uh, to be able to walk in the streets and to ask people, can you draw me your, a nipple? And the people will draw me a, a nipple and I will interpret their drawing as an embroidery and give the embroidery back to the person. So at the end, I only have like the, um, the wall like collection of drawings of the peoples and they have one of my smaller type of art piece. So what you see right now in the exhibition is uh, not mine. They, are, they belong to the people who share the drawing with me, so I will give them back to them. And I really like the intention of not owning my own art. So it's like, because since it's collaborative, like the people give me something, so I wanted to give them back. And so it's like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a beginning because like for now I don't have that, that much, but I want to consider continuing and like being able to share with more and more people and question myself about nipple because like, I mean like it's, I don't, I don't gender the nipple for me is like just a piece of whatever flesh. And so what I want is just like for people to just I think through the drawing, people will mostly draw like a circle at a point. <laughs> so this is, this is like more like just saying like whatever, why are we caring so much about the gender of this, this small piece? I wanted to connect with you on this uh, kind of gender question because yeah. uh, sometimes I, in, in Eastern Europe, there's a permanent question that why women are not in museums, institutions, yeah. and, and, and why they are not considered as, you know, real artists. But, but here, uh, I mean, I go a lot of to Paris, and, and they say, the woman says there that we have no problem with, with this equality stuff. So what is your feeling about that here? About like, you mean like gender equality yeah, gender equality. in yeah. how it's shown in the art world? Yeah. I mean like, if we only look at the numbers, it's still not equal. I think I'm more mostly in a space where people are like really seeing everything equally. So here I don't really feel it in directly in the um, space near me, but definitely when um, just because like, for example, when I need money, I work in art museums and hey, I hang up art pieces <laughs> and most of the art pieces I hang up are men who works. Also only just the fact of hanging art pieces was uh, hard for me to get in here in South of France because in South of France I still have this kind of um, view on women that women are not strong, can't, uh, can't 
carry anything and so it's kind of I mean if I speak directly from my direct like near people I don't feel anything but if I s directly go a little bit outside my bubble mm. I just still kind of feel it things are right now like really like just shifting on it on its head so I feel like lots of things are really like shifting just right now and like since uh, I would say like a few like three years like everything is like like I think like the Me Too movement really like made a big impact so right now it's like everything is on his head it's like mostly art spaces will be like we should be sure to show a mm. woman this year because if we don't we will have all heads off so <laughs> yeah I mean like I mean yeah. I don't know if it's a good way to see the thing <laughs> but I feel like you are a little bit under pressure if you don't show a mm. woman right now Colin do you have a favorite artwork from Agat? I like all of it <laughs> yeah. um, I think I like the way it uh, went um, like uh, Shimmer, like uh, it became more and more uh, hybrid during the time because at the beginning it was very uh, an ID a process and very uh, clean and, uh, and direct and it uh, became more like blurry and, and showing up uh, issues that are very linked to the, the women body and the way the spectator can look at things and it has taken many different ways and I think I like to navigate it with the ways rather than the first pieces that were very straight straight talking. An interesting thing in your web page there is a session called friends and ins inspiration and I like it because most of the time everyone tells about me myself me the most important artist in the world and blah 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 and and you just put this session friends and inspiration which i like it's because it's like uh, you you are not alone here and and uh, is this a kind of uh, kind of goal like i mean being an artist is not when you're alone at the studio but connecting with others i want more to go towards people and make things with people because i have a a greater feeling of accomplishment when I do it with more people and it's I mean like I still have like my single way of doing art alone I think it's more and more important to create together more than create alone because I mean I, I mean it's just like a, a say but you uh, if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together and I have really like this feeling like it's I'm, I feel it's really weird to just want to be alone all the time I mean like I already have like so much this alone feeling like just I don't know like looking social media and stuff it's really like pushing you back to a corner or and I feel like I don't want like to be just part of this like online world I want to be more in contact directly and that's also why I'm at La Station where it's an artist run space where we are lots of artists we connect with lots of people and there are also like a temporary residencies that makes people come through and you can talk to them and exchange and like having this possibility to be an art space and an artist at the same time is really like giving lots of connection sometimes where it's really powerful when they are like a group of artists and they did lots of things together even if they have their own things on their own at, the, at some point but sometimes when you see like this whole mid of, of all those energies is always like I mean something really powerful actually you can you can name your your group if you like for the next exhibition like I don't know the the sevens uh, the next <laughs> sevens uh, yeah, yeah. It will change. Yeah. It always change in the yeah. group. It's like in this intention to connect, we have to share the project with other people. So mm. it won't be the sevens forever. <laughs> <laughs> it was the yeah. first sevens and then the second sevens. Uh. And, one. and like right now, we are going to use the model for uh, to go in an art school, and we will do like the project with like. Um, artist to be <laughs> so to say uh, and it will be like 
really like questioning space and an interaction between art, small art pieces or design pieces because they're like in different um, spaces that are not only in art and I think like um, I think the project will not just be static on the fact that it, uh, it's an exhibition space but it's also like just a place to experiment try things and yeah so wherever they come from they can try to make things and if there are not seven it's not a problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well actually I don't know if you know uh, Gary Lagers I saw like an <laughs> exhibition of them in, also in Leipzig in Germany and no? also in Berlin they actually saying that uh, as a woman artist you don't need to worry about money and yeah, yeah, because you will not have it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I really love this list of things yeah. like uh, I really I saw it like eight months ago now at in an exhibition and I was like oh yeah it's really I, I mean like it's really a lo lot of humor but it's really like funny and sad at the mm. same time but it's yeah it's really tragic truth yeah. <laughs> okay thank you very much <laughs>